hey everyone uh, welcome back to the new video so in the previous video we have seen the theory for trpc like what trpc is what what's the problem it's trying to solve now in this video we will have a simple application where you will see it in action so if you go on to the official website of this trpc uh, just click on this quick start guide now here you can find the steps for installation so for the server you will just need at trpc slash server and for the client you will be needing at trpc slash client so uh, what i have done is i have like prepared a sample project uh, to show to you guys like how it's working so here like in index.ts we have the code for the server and inside this clients folder we have a, a very bare minimum react application using create react app so it's using typescript because in the previous like video we have seen that in order to use trpc like typescript is must so uh, let's go over the server file first so here are the few packages which i have already installed one is trpc slash server which is like obvious course and this express to like create a simple server and this zod so zod is like to define the structure of your schema like basically it's a schema definition library so what I've done is like we have created a simple trpc router which is like created using t router function on this trpc which is imported from this trpc at server package so we have defined a simple query named hello and this query will accept a simple object in which there will be one key text and that text will be of type string which can be nullish so this is the uh, syntax which is coming from Zot. so you can have you look you can have a look at it inside the official documentation it's pretty easy and then like the second argument is the resolve function so uh, the resolve function takes the input which is like from coming from here and it like returns a simple object or the response so we are just simply returning a greet with hello and the text inside that input now what we are doing is like we are exporting the type of this api router using this export type api router is equal to type of api router so this uh, type will be imported in our uh, Re react application so we'll have a look at it in a minute now uh, we are listening this on slash trpc and uh, we are simply creating a middle we are using that trpc router so this trpc express package which is exported from this trpc server it is pretty handy in creating those middleware so uh, that's what we are doing here and it's listening on port 4000 so it's pretty straightforward code nothing much fancy here if you go into the official documentation and inside it this at trpc slash server like you can see inside the defined route thing we have used this approach using zod so it's pretty simple now inside this react application inside app.tsx what we have done is like we have installed at trpc slash client which like uh, exports this named export which is create trpc client so we are calling this function and we are using a type import for that api app router so this app router if you remember this is the same thing which we have exported from server file we are importing it into the app.tsx uh, file it's a runtime type import so it will only import the type of this app router and we are passing it here inside the create trpc generic and we obviously need the url for uh, for the trpc server as well so it's localhost 4000 slash trpc and this trpc we have defined it here now what we have done is inside the use effect we have simply queried that hello we have provided the text as john and then like waiting for the promise and we are just simply like setting the data to rest.greet so we are getting the data inside this greet property so it's coming from server only so it's pretty uh, straightforward application now if we will run this so we have two tabs open in my terminal one is running the express server and one is running the react so if you go into the localhost 3000 you can see this hello john here now what i'll do is i'll go on to the index.ts and i will simply change this so i have decided that like uh, this message will not go inside this greet key instead it will go inside the message key so as soon as like i made make any change here you can see that the 
front end or the client side application automatically detects that. So this is the advantage of using TRPC. So it says that property greet does not exist on type message colon string. So if you type rest dot and it will give you an autocomplete, so it will be a message. So that's the benefit of using TRPC. I hope like it makes sense now and uh, Please let me know in the comment section if you want more such videos on TRPC and I'll surely consider them making. So have a good day.